Hey Goose Street Teamers, it's Heather. I'm introducing a new little um, feature that we're going to have on the Goose Street Team, a vlog part. A vlog, if you don't know what that is, it's a video slash blog, hence the vlog term. Um, it's just something we want to do that's going to make ourselves a little bit more personable with everybody, which we pretty much already are. If you uh, have been a street teamer for the past three years, um, you know that myself and Deb and Christine, we're like out there. People know who we are, uh, especially myself. You can't miss the tall, red-headed, glittering goo girl at the shows. So um, it's just another experience that makes us feel like we're sitting right there with you at your computer screen getting you all your latest goo information. So that's kind of fun. I'll, at the end of this, uh, tell you a little bit more what we're going to do with the vlog. I apologize now if I get a little winded. This is like right up my alley doing this, which is why you'll probably see me doing most of the vlogging because um totally love being in front of a camera. It's what I went to school for. It's what I do. So um, just roll with it. If you get bored with my gabbing, just scroll along. Okay, it's March, which is pretty awesome. It means winter is coming to an end, spring's coming, all that. If you're like myself here on the East Coast, we're probably sick of all the snow snowstorms. Um, not a fan. It's just been snowstorm after snowstorm after snowstorm. There's this talk now. Everybody, I mean, at work, every day, a new customer or a client comes in and they're like, oh, did you read the almanac? We're going to get, like, more snow on the 17th. It's going to be, like, 40 inches. Not a fan. Not cool. If I was on Facebook, I'd hit the dislike button. Not cool. So I'm going to, like, think past March, and I'm going to go into April. And what do we have happening in April? That's right, the tour starts. It's going to be pretty awesome. I can't wait. I'm in so need of a goo fix, as I know everybody else is. We can't wait to get out there and see the guys and road trip and do all that fun stuff. So with the tour, that also means USA Harvest will also be kicking it off as well. The guys are teaming up with that again, so that's pretty awesome that they continue to keep doing USA Harvest work. Um, once we get more information, we will, of course, pass it on to you, but just keep that in the back of your mind if you're grocery shopping, if you're going through your pantry, spring cleaning, whatever, and you see some non-perishables and food that you want to bring along, throw it in a bag, pop it in your trunk, and it'll be there for when you go to the show. Just keep that in the back of your mind. And like I said, the more information we get about that, because we're sort of your number one source with USA Harvest, um, stay tuned and we'll pass it along. Speaking of road tripping, we have a little section on our me message board right now about road tripping. It, of course, has all the tour dates that you can check that out. You can also interact with other fans and maybe plan a road trip. Uh, it's something that is not new to us Goo fans. That's what we sort of do. That's like our second calling in life is to road trip to Goo at all shows. Um, if you're someone like myself who always went to Goo shows but didn't road trip that much, last tour was pretty much when I started my road tripping uh, experiences, and it's so fun. And one thing that I always thought of was, like, how do people do it? Like, how do... How do they afford it? Where do they stay? You know, how do they not stay in like a roach motel type thing? Um, and just talking with other goo fans, you sort of learn the ropes and the secrets and tips and all kinds of stuff. So that's what's up this uh, road tripping forum that we have. You can talk with other fans. Maybe you can even team up with them, which is one of the best things to do if you have somebody to road trip with. You're more than likely going to go somewhere if you have somebody to go with. Um, another thing online you want to really, really become a fan of Twitter. Twitter will be burning up the Twitter line of the internet, Goose Street Team wise. We have our own, of course, which is twitter.com slash Goose Street Team. But all the chapters as well on the Goose Street Team are signing up and getting their own Twitter accounts for that particular chapter. So that, that way, at shows, you can say, I'll keep using myself just because it's easier. <laughs> At the PA shows, myself or Christine will be uh, tweeting away what's going on from the Pennsylvania Goose Street Team Twitter uh, chapter thingy on Twitter. And uh, when there's shows in Tennessee, when there's shows in South Carolina, when there's shows in North Carolina, all the shows, all the chapter leaders will be twittering their thoughts, what's going on, probably like live updates. Uh, which is Twitter pretty much is a live update, but, you know, like how USA Harvest went, you know, maybe a little blurb like, oh, the guys are getting ready to go on stage or whatever, so keep up with that. If you're a little, oh my God, Twitter, it scares me, I don't know what it is, I don't know what to do, I'm on it, but it's not what I thought. I have a Twitter tutorial that I did probably about a month ago, 
It is on our website, our message board. There's a link to it on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to think it's on, I said on MySpace. It's pretty much everywhere on, on a Goose Tree Team website. You can find it. It's sort of lengthy, but it really, really, really helps if you don't know the ins and outs of Twitter and um, just the basics of how Twitter can be useful not only for Google Doll stuff, but just for other stuff. So give it a read, and um, I've been getting nothing but positive feedback from people, and they really, really enjoy it. Um, and Twitter is just fun. It's like 120 characters only, but it's just your little thoughts throughout the day that you can put out there. I Twitter constantly, so much so that poor Deb and Christine have to turn their phones on vibrate at night because I'm a night owl. So I'm up late, and I'm always Twittering stuff, and especially if there's a hockey game on, because uh, as you can see behind me here, it's all my, uh, see, it's all my penguin stuff. So uh, if Christine's phone's like really, really going off, her husband's like, oh, there must be a hockey game going on. So um, it's just fun. It's really interactive, and it's just fun, and it's sort of if you want to have a thought but like you don't want to say it but you want to like type it for like the internet world to read you know it's kind of cool I know I'm a huge Twitter fan I did a lot of graphics recently they're all for the chapters it's the album cover for something for the rest of us and it says Goose Street Team and then where it says something for the rest of us it has the chapter name so check that out I did a wallpaper and I'll be doing other stuff it's sort of slowly but surely coming along, so just hang in there with that, but um, pretty soon there will be all kinds of really neat things. I did a lot of uh, graphics, too, if you want to swap them on your web pages that link back to the Goose Street Team sites, such as Twitter or MySpace, Facebook, all that, the message board, the main site. You can go to our MySpace and just like right-click and save as. If not, I have them in albums there that you can save them through there um, and put them up on decide and promote the Goose Tree team, and we'd really appreciate that. Uh, let's see, what else? Future vlogging, what we're going to do. But um, probably we'll do a lot at shows. Um, hopefully maybe we can get a little uh, interacting going on with fans that are waiting in line. Maybe somebody's come a great, great distance. If it's somebody's first show, we can maybe get uh, a little... Oh my God, look what happened with USA Harvest and all the, you know, donations. Maybe get a little clip of the charity or organization itself getting the donations and their excitement and everything. So that's something to look forward to. One last thing before we go. Um, every now and then we get asked, like, where's the best spot to get your Goose Street Team updates? Because we do, of course, we have our main site. We have Facebook. We have MySpace. We have the message board. We have Twitter. Like, where, there's so much, where should we go? I want to say the most up-to-date all the time would be our main website, because that's what it is. It's our main website. We're going to constantly update that. Um, for instant updates, I would say Facebook and Twitter. You know, if, if we get, like, an email shot to us on our phones, uh, you know, because we follow, obviously, the Google Dolls on Facebook and on Twitter, so if we get a tweet or whatever from them, then we'll retweet it to you guys. Um, so check that out. Pretty much if you check any of our things throughout the day, uh, you'll be good. So just keep up with that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to always uh, shoot us those. We'll answer them as soon as we can and get back to you. And hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of you soon when the tour starts. It's going to be so fun. This is like one of my favorite times of the year. It's like Christmas for me, uh, preparing for the Goo shows. And I'm so stoked that USA Horror is involved again. That is probably one of my favorite things with the shows. Um, I mean, of course, the show itself is awesome. But while we're all rocking out the show, knowing that that food and non-perishables and everything that's been donated is pretty much going into effect right away, that's pretty awesome. So uh, just stay tuned. And um, the fun's beginning. So just sort of take this last couple weeks as like a breather, get your plans together, and then once April hits baby, it's on, and it's going to be so fun. So I uh, hope everybody has an awesome rest of March, and like I said, you'll be seeing a lot more of these vlogs, hopefully before the tour starts. Keep checking out the Inner Machine for meet and greet and pre-sale info. Check out the Goose Street team every day, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you soon. All right, bye.